Hey guys, it's Bernicia, aka Behind the Flybug, and welcome back to my channel. Um, Bo, leave it. Ah, okay. Bo, oh, leave it. Sorry. Okay, well, um, if you're new here, uh, welcome. If you're old here, welcome back. Um, do I look tired? Because I'm tired. So, after the video... Uh, my last video, um, I came home, picked out my outfits that I was going to, you know, do for my video that I was talking about, and I still plan to do it. Hopefully, it'll be the video after this one. But, got home, and, Bo, stop eating leaves. Here. This dog. Okay, I'm going to try and make this as short as possible. <sighs> so, I got home, picked out my outfits, like I said I was going to, and was trying to decide on dinner, and I'm like, got my head down in the deep freezer, or in the freezer part of the fridge, and I go to stand up, and I make myself dizzy. So, I'm like, this isn't going to go good. So I'm like, I need to sit down. So that's what I do. And then some weird thing starts happening with my eyes. And I remember I had put Bo on the other side of the gate. And so he started whimpering. I remember him whimpering. All concerned. Because you know how animals get when something is about to happen. So, I'm trying to open my eyes. I cannot. I feel them fluttering, but I see no light or anything. Oh my god, hold on. This, this dog is eating leaves. Hold on. Okay, I have to go put him inside because he was being a little jackass. He just would not stop eating like leaves. And that's just gross because, you know, the dogs pee and stuff and it's like, ew. And then he's trying to kiss me and it's like gross. Anyway, so, where was I? Anyway, I can't, like, open my eyeballs. I'm trying really hard to do so. And I cannot. So, I start having a panic attack because I don't know what the hell is happening. My heart is going doot, 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 doot. I'm like, I can't breathe. So, I start, like, I sounded like I was yelling, get mad, get mad. I don't know how many times I said that. And then, I blacked out. The next thing I know is Nick's in my face, Matt's in my face, like his daughter's in my face, and I can't talk, I just can see them. And all I hear is boo, boo, boo. And I'm like, I can't breathe. I can't talk at this point, but I'm trying to breathe. And so, Matt's in my face with my inhaler, like, squirting it in my, like, all in my, in my mouth. And I'm like, I'm not getting anything. <laughs> I'm not getting anything. Of course, I still can't talk. I'm thinking all of this. Finally, I get some water. Either somebody gives me some water or I ask them for some water. And I take a drink of water and I'm looking at Matt and there's like seven of them dancing around in front of me. They're all blurry and I'm like, this is some bullshit right here. Again, I can't really talk. My heart is going doo 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 doo. My blood pressure is like skyrocketing. I'm afraid to walk because I'm like, if I get up, I'm going to fall. So I finally get up, I get to the room, Matt helps me to the room, I like lay there, or I sit there, was I laying or sitting, I don't remember. <sighs> We're just chilling out. He's like, I'm going to make you something, something to eat, what do you want? I'm like, I don't know, 
I, I don't even know who I am right now. I did, but I didn't, I didn't know what to eat, so I was just like, I don't know. I just kept saying, I don't know, because my brain was just like scrambled eggs. I don't know. And I don't remember what he brought me, but I ate it. And then I think I passed out again. And so I hear him going, baby, and he's like shaking me and he's just like, baby, wake up. Oh my God. And he's just like, you're not breathing. You're not breathing. Wake up. And I'm like, I'm not breathing. What do you mean? I'm not breathing. And so he's just like, well, you know, if this happens again, you're going to the hospital. And I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. I, getting ready to go to bed I felt like I was asleep and then I hear him shaking me and then it's all bright and he's like get up we're going to the hospital and I'm like thinking to myself what the fuck time is it I have no idea it's almost midnight and he's just like I'm sitting here watching you and you are breathing all hard you, you, you're, you're like you keep like you like having sleep apnea or something and I'm just like I don't have sleep apnea and I'm just thinking to myself I'm like I don't have sleep apnea and he's just like you're going like long periods of time without breathing and this is like you know he didn't say this is some bullshit but he was just like yeah I'm not gonna relish you know going to sleep and then I wake up and I have a dead wife this is not ideal this is not happening so get your ass up get dressed we're going to the hospital and if you don't get up, I'm calling the ambulance. You got two choices. I'm like, so I'm trying to not go because I'm like, nothing is wrong with me. Nothing is wrong with me. I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm trying to procrastinate to not go. That I know. I don't want to go to the hospital because I'm like, if I go, they're not going to let you back there. And he's like, no, they're going to let me back there. And then I had totally forgot that they actually allow one person back there with you. But still, I'm like, mm. So, I finally, he finally gets me there, and it's like midnight, and so they're like asking me, like, and I'm so tired. I kept like falling asleep, and Matt kept going, wake up! And I'm like in the car, like jumping, because he's like, wake up! I, I guess I got there, and like, I kept falling asleep, and you know, the nurses, were coming in and talking to me and the doctors were talking to me and I guess they were watching me outside and was seeing how I was breathing so now they like want me to do a sleep study and I'm like oh god all this stuff I don't have time for I don't and he's just like babe you need to start taking better care of yourself you need to start drinking more water you need to start doing all this and I'm just kind of like so get home I have no idea that he's already like called me out for work and I'm like yeah you can't kind of do that so I had to call my job and like let them know that I couldn't go and so you know and I called my you know I, I texted my best friend because I figured she would still be up and she was and so she's like what the fuck is happening why are you always going to the hospital I called my sister um or texted her but she didn't respond until like early this morning um I heard something about she called or texted or I don't know. But I wasn't about to put that on Facebook because everybody and their mama would have been like, what's wrong with you? Do you got COVID? No, I don't have COVID. I have asthma and asthma fucking sucks. Um, so then like, you know, they're like, well, we don't really, I, I, I don't know. I don't really know the conversation or remember most of it but they're not sure if I have sleep apnea or not because they were looking at my stats and I had 99 to 100 percent oxygen with my mask on people with my mask on. Um, but um, sorry I'm got a brain fart they, I mean, my, my blood pressure was a little elevated, which is 
very unusual because usually it's right at like it's like 122 over 80 like 118 over 80 I'm, but it was like 136 over like 80 but you know I was like that 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 never never happens to me so I don't know I don't know maybe I was having some sort of weird panic attack which is causing it all I don't know but it was enough to you know ruffle my bed sheets for one night so I'm I'm pretty exhausted it's taken me all day to do laundry um, I was supposed to take my cat over but you know and then you know Bo made it worse because you know he would like before we went to the hospital he was just all over me he would just not like leave me alone and this is not like regular Bo usually when Bo is on me he's like chewing on my arm and trying to like lick all in my eyeball and like eat my lips and he's just just trying to like devour me but he wasn't he was just like totally like like calm and he was just like laying all on me and like giving me kisses and like like doing little whines and stuff and so I think he knew something was going on I, I still don't know what and I don't think the doctors know what either but so he was the dead giveaway that actually something was wrong with me and I think it made him nervous so um, and we had toileted him like before we left and or Matt did, I, Matt did, because I didn't, Matt did. And so when we put him in his kennel, when we came back at 3 a.m., we found a nice, great surprise, and we smelled it too. So yeah, that shit went outside, and it was just all throughout the house. It was horrible, I was like, oh my God. See, it's just one more thing, just one more thing. But I got the laundry done, slowly but surely, you know, I, I was trying really hard to just, like, get everything done and try and get, you know, Cosmos' stuff, like, gathered up, and I still don't know where his cat litter box is. Like, we're, like, the old one, not the self-cleaning one, but the other one. So I'm like, ugh, so now we still have to find that one, because, um... We needed a, a picture of like where we were gonna put it, and it's big. There's there's just no way. There's no way that you know um, it could be in the room where you know we were actually gonna put him. So we're just gonna have to find his dome one, and that might be in the garage, up in the rafters. But if not, I'm not climbing my big ass up there. I'll fall and die, and then you know. No, but yeah, so the men of the house are going to have to like figure that shit out by the mile. <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, so that's like, you know, and then I gave Bo a bath today and I'll, I'll leave like the little video that I took that I, uh, uh, showed one of my other YouTube friends. Um, and she was like, oh my God, look at him. He's so cute. He loves it. And I was like, yeah, I know. And she was like, my dog is a turd. I gotta give him a bath. And I'm like, this one, he can't stay out of the water. Ugh. But, yeah. So, I don't know. I'm just, I'm still really emotional. I'm trying not to, like, I'm trying not to talk too loud. I'm trying not to, like, get worked up. I'm not trying to, like, have another episode of what happened yesterday. I'm still really stressed out, I'm still really depressed, and you know, they were asking me, I mean, it's, I, I know this is protocol for like emergency people to ask, are you, do you feel safe at home? It just, <laughs> I mean, and I know this isn't funny, it's really not, but I just wonder how many people actually say no, you know, I don't know, that's just, I was thinking about that when, because three people asked me that yesterday, and I was just kind of like, why are y'all all keep asking me that? You know, is it because I'm black? No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But, um, I don't know. That was, that was my yesterday. So, I got a message. Sorry. 
Ah, 15 minutes. See, 15 minutes just flies by. But, um, yeah, so, um, <laughs> on that note, that was my day yesterday, so this is my, what, fourth vlog. Ah, uh, asthma sucks. Elephant balls. Like, it does. Like, asthma and depression and stuff like that sucks. So many elephant balls. I just wanted to say that, so just in case you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> if you have those, then you understand the struggle. It's real. The depression is here and it's real. Kevin Hart. But I'm going to let y'all go before it hits 16 minutes, so um, please like, share, subscribe. I know this isn't usually, you know, my genre, but, um, because, well, I, it is, but, um, yeah, um, I guess I will catch you guys in hopefully a happier next one. A food biscuit.